Hi, I'm Wanda with Jimmy Branch Homestead, and today I'm going to be doing some cleaning of the outdoor buildings um, with this 30-second outdoor cleaner. It is wonderful stuff. We started out with a container like this um, that comes full, and it has three different settings that you change over with the handle. The left side is clean. The middle turns it off, and the right side puts only clean water spraying out of it for rinsing. So that's why I really like this. It works well. <clears throat> we used to pressure wash our house twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. And it's a lot of work for us older people. <clears throat> well, pretty much for anybody it would be. Um, and it didn't last long as far as keeping the green off. So last year I tried this 30 second cleaner, um, especially on the north side of the house where it really gets the green build up because there's no sun on it. Um, and there's bleach in it. You can definitely smell the bleach in it. Um, but it works great. Not only does it clean it, but then it takes, it gives it like an inhibitive barrier to help protect it against getting green fast again. So I'm really excited about that. My building here is turning green. It's never been cleaned. And we've had it here since uh, 2017. So, and this is 2024. So <clears throat> seven years and, it's, and then the exterior's never been cleaned. Um, and just over the last year, I've really noticed the green starting to build up on the north side of this building. So we're going to get that cleaned up. And our Rubbermaid shed over here is also very green along the front. Um, I'm going to try and show you the before and after, but the sun's shining. So let's try and keep the sun out of it. Let me put this down. Okay. So hopefully you can see just how green the shed has gotten to be. <clears throat> now I'm going to have to put the camera off to the side so I don't get it all wet. Um, but I'll show you exactly how I'm using it. Um, and then I'll show you the after effects. Okay, before I get started, I wanted to make it clear that this is not a sponsored video. Um, <clears throat> we paid for this 30 second cleaner. The reason I'm sharing this with you today is it is a method that works and we love it but we are not getting anything in return for it. So, let me tighten this up just a hair more here because it seems to be leaking. There. And then I'm gonna twist the, the, the selector here over to clean and it automatically comes out. It says 30 seconds, but when it's really green like this, I leave it on a little longer. It's green all the way up. Okay. Oopsie. Well, I can't show you straight on because the sun will sh shine directly in the lens. So hopefully you can tell from the side view. I can see it's breaking down and cleaning up this first door especially. And I haven't rinsed it yet. 
it. So now I'm going to flip it over to the rinse. Hopefully you can see that as I'm doing it. Don't want to knock the camera over, but oops, keep it out of the sun. All right. I am going to retreat this and let it sit on here. You can really see where it ran down and it cleared it off. <clears throat> so I think if I just keep spraying and making sure it's cutting it, it'll work. Okay, time to rinse, and it's amazing, but all that green just about on that Rubbermaid shed has now come off. It just needed to soak a little longer. shed all rinsed off. All that green that was on the bottom half of that door is now off. Let me see if I can... This up here on the right is spray paint that got on it somehow. I don't remember how. Um, hopefully you can see that now. It's hard for me to see with the... But it was super green, especially this right door, and it just took it all off. Uh, it looks like it's taken off most of what's coming on the shed. It just took more, and I'm sure that's because it's been so long since I cleaned it. Um, let me see. So I need to get it rinsed off too. this windowsill it was just really green or the window frame I mean I don't have any sills just the frames that's all looking really good a faint little bit of green right here One more time, and then I'll come back. Well, I am finished with this side of the shed. 
I hope it shows up how bad it was before I started and now how beautiful it looks. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Yes, I had to retreat it in a couple places that were really bad, um, but look at it now. See, that green came up up there too. And over here, where I still had some stubbornness. And it's all come off. And I think maybe the reason it needed to be retreated a couple times is um, not only did I leave it so long without cleaning it, so it really built up and turned green, dark green. Um, but this is like a kind of a rough uh, texture. So it probably got down and kind of in the cracks of it more. It's a painted siding, like a plywood siding that goes on. So this building, in case you're wondering what it is, because I don't think I've actually told a lot of people, but this is my sewing room. <laughs> I do quilts and stuff like that, so baby sets <clears throat> when it's not summer and I'm so busy. <laughs> so hopefully this winter I'll have time to do a little bit of that. On to the next project with my 30 second wash. So if you've ever hired someone to pressure wash a building, you know how very expensive it is. Um, this building, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to reach the top. Top of the middle door is 16 feet. So the worst part is the small doors and around the doors. And I'm gonna try and get all the big door, but I can only do what I can do. So let me show you how bad it is. So hopefully it's showing up on video, but we have a lot of black mold and dark green all over the doors. So it's really looking bad. This building was built in 2020, October of 2020. And again, we've never done anything to clean any of it. So it didn't really start turning green again until last year. So maybe last year was a super wet year, I can't remember. <laughs> but <clears throat> we're gonna do our best to clean it up as much as we can. Okay, so it took probably close to half a gallon to do that one door, but that was because it was so dirty. <clears throat> and I probably sprayed it longer than I really needed to, but you can see already how clean it's came compared to before. I'm hoping that vinyl around the edge of the door and such um, cleans up a lot better too. Um, we're gonna let it sit on there now for a minute or two. Okay, hey, I'm going to try and finish rinsing this down and see how we do.
Okay, I'm going to bring you in closer in a minute, but it literally got all the green off the doors and above it and to the sides. There's some on the, on the siding over here on the corner. Um, but one of the reasons this gets so dirty is, you guessed it, we live right next to a dirt road. So it really makes a mess out of things. Um, but then on the north side, of course, everything does turn green. Um, the one thing it didn't completely take off with one treatment is on the vinyl um, weather stripping around the door. It does look like there's um, some black mold that didn't come off with that. I do think if I had a brush or anything that would really help. Oh, I think I splashed and got stuff on my, oh no, that's just some markings. Um, so hopefully you can see just how white the door got. It really did a good job on the door. Just have some problems here. And you can see if I rub it a little bit, a lot more comes off. But, um, so I might spray the corners again, but I want to make sure I have enough to get all the doors done. And I'm going to do the other small door before I tackle the big door. Just in case I can only get halfway up the big door or so. Um, so we're going to move over to the bar door. We have So we have th two small doors and a huge door. We used to have a motorhome, but we sold it because we couldn't really afford to keep it. So this is the other small door. It doesn't look like it's showing the dirt up on it as much as I wish it would, but it's really bad. Green and black and yucky. Also above it, not as bad as on the other side because I think this corner does get some sun. Um, but the doors are really bad. Again, in between the two doors here, um, so let me get the cleaner set up and we will start again. Try and put it where you can watch us. So they also sell this cleaner in a two and a half gallon size. And we usually just buy it from Tractor Supply. That's where we first found it. <coughs> I don't know how long ago, a couple weeks ago or maybe more, we found this on sale the big size at um, Tractor Supply. So you might check that out um, or just watch for it to go on sale. But it sure saves when you don't have to scrub. You know, I'm, I'm getting older and scrubbing stuff like this is just more than I can take. So I like something I can spray on and spray off. And this fits the bill. So, I'm going to get started on that other door. Let's get it. Oops, now I need to adjust it up. Oh, I think you can see there how dirty it is. And... Uh,
Okay, so that's the first go of it. It did much better on the bottom than on the top. We're going to let it sit for a couple minutes and then we're going to start again. Okay, well I got that door finished. I went ahead and rinsed it off. Um, I'm a little concerned about my battery going out because we only have so much time left on it. Um, but it came cleaner than I thought it would. I thought those black streaks underneath of it might not come off, but yay, they did. So it's beautiful white again. Again, the vinyl, or the it's more like a rubber seal up around it. Um, vinyl siding cleans really good. That's what we have in our house. It does just like the doors here, um, except for where it had built up so much over the years. There is some slight gray um, under it again, but um, I'm going to run out of cleaner before I get a chance to do the house. So, but both of the small doors are done. I did go back and spray half of the big door, so I'm letting that soak still. Um, So we can, oh, by the way, when you do this, make sure you wear old clothes that, because remember I told you there's a lot of bleach in this cleaner. It stains your clothes. It takes all the color out and it will make them fall apart. So if you're getting up close and personal like I do to really, when it's really dirty, if you're staining back, you know, further, um, I think the ideal is about three feet, but mine were so dirty that I had to have a little bit more hose pressure on it um, to, to try and get it off more. Um, you know, if you don't let it get this bad, then you don't have to stand as close. Um, but so far we have gone through uh, two or three, almost three of these half gallon bottles on the garage because it's so bad. And I did one half gallon on the shed. And I only needed to do that one side of the shed, just the north side is the only side that was, I mean, the other was dusty, but I can just hose that off. I don't need the, the special cleaner to get all this junk off. Um, it's gonna be fun trying to get up there with the ladder to get the top, but I'm gonna try and get this worst part off the bottom first. Let me see if you can, I don't know if you can see all that green on the bottom. It's bad. <laughs> so, like I said, I did spray the cleaner on it up about halfway. So I guess I'll go ahead and try and hose that off and see how much of it I can get off. It's not quite coming off, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave that on just a little bit longer, and then we'll come back with you. Okay, so I got the bottom five rows, excuse all the water all over my glasses, uh, while standing on the ground. So the top three are going to be a challenge because I'm going to have to go up the ladder. So, ah. Uh, When it's really bad, I find if you leave it on for a couple of minutes instead of 30 seconds, then it, you know, breaks down a lot better without having to use too much more of the, of the cleaner. So my shorts here, got some of the cleaner on them. I don't know if you can see it from there, but bleach spots. So eventually these are going to get holes in them, but I will continue to use them <coughs> as long as I can. This shirt will probably start falling apart because it, it's got a lot on it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And it is quarter to seven and I really want to get this done tonight and it looks like there's dew starting to fall on my camera. So not sure how long it's going to work but we're going to try. Let me see if I can show you the top there. Hopefully you can see the difference between the top three rows. And I did spray them down with a 
water. I just haven't sprayed cleaner on them up there at the top. Um, but these bottom five rows are clean. Yes, I know there's going to be dirt go down on them, but I'll have to, when I rinse it, I'll have to rinse the whole door again. So, <coughs> oh boy. Huh. I'm probably only going to be able to get half the door at a time. I don't want to be too far from it. The gravel in our driveway is very uneven. <laughs> so. <coughs> we wouldn't have got nearly as tall of a, a garage if we didn't have the motorhome at the time. That's why we did. And then uh, this past winter, uh, I did sell it like in February, I think it was. Or maybe it was December. I can't remember. Anyway, I did sell it. Like I said, we weren't able to use it anyway and paying for insurance and everything for it to sit here just didn't seem to make sense. So, hopefully this isn't too bad. I don't know how much far to go up to reach this. Okay, hopefully that'll do it. Yeah, it puts more weight on the hose being up here like this where it's pulling down. Okay. <laughs>
Anyhow, it looks real good, dear. You did a good job. So if you're enjoying this type of video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share our videos on your social media. It's the best way that you can help our channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching. Jimmy Branch Homestead.